Now let us go through the steps uh, we use to solve uh, this optimization problem for problem uh, C1. And as I said, uh, I have uh, solved it using MATLAB. Uh, and so let's go through the uh, code and this will help you write your own code uh, for other problems as well. Uh, so uh, we define the main function uh, where uh, all the variables are either defined or computed uh, and the main uh, function is called the f min con which is uh, one of the standard programs in MATLAB uh, for constrained nonlinear optimization. It's a gradient based algorithm so uh, if available gradient should be given uh, to speed up the process and for greater accuracy so uh, we are going to give those as well. But let's see the steps. Uh, what you see on the first few lines is I have shared certain variables. Uh, they'll be useful uh, to transfer uh, between uh, the main program and all the functions or subroutines. Uh, the, the first global uh, g just uh, deals with the distribution parameters for Q and A and Y. The second one, uh, those uh, Z1, Z2 and Z3 uh, are basically the independent standard normal variables. I have used uh, Z or Z instead of U uh, partly because I didn't want to confuse the U of the Y bull with this U of standard normal. So I hope uh, you will not get confused. So uh, the Z's or the Z's here are the independent standard normal variables. Um, so in the next block I compute all the statistics uh, from the given information uh, and uh, the, uh, the mean and standard deviation of A, uh, the uh, U and K of the Y bull Y and uh, I think the gumbel uh, is also defined there in the top. Uh, now we start the block of setting up the optimization. Uh, this line that you see are some default arrays and matrices that have to be defined in terms of constraints uh, for that f min con uh, function. Uh, we will define the nonlinear uh, constraint. Uh, which would be given in function form constraint so that's you're going to see it in the next slide uh, we have to define the initial point so which I choose to define uh, as as the mean the mean vector uh, the next line are the various options in the f min con uh, one of the things is that uh, I have the objective gradients so I'm going to provide them uh, and then uh, I, I call the function f min con uh, and then uh, that nonlinear constraint has been provided. The objective function is beta square. So uh, that is something also we are going to show in the next slide. Uh, then uh, we once uh, f min con does its job, hopefully it will converge uh, and then we will uh, get the uh, answer uh, beta would be the, the square root of fval because your objective is basically u1 square plus u2 square plus u3 square or z1 square plus z2 square plus z3 square in uh, this program's uh, terminology and then we output the results. So let's uh, go just take a look at the, the two functions that I mentioned here. So the, the first function is the objective function so it not only gives the value of the objective but also the gradients. Uh, here I, I uh, take advantage of the, the global variables, all the u's and alphas and the uh, z1, z2 and z3. So uh, I uh, rename the axis to y uh, area of the cable and q just for my convenience. And then I compute the CDFs because I'm going to need them. Uh, in defining the, the Z's because remember it's a full distribution transformation that we are employing so uh, I would have to invert distribution to distribution so once for Y I get the CDF then I can do the normal inverse so uh, Z1 is norm inf of FY so there I am calling another function uh, uh, 
library function in MATLAB which inverts the normal CTF. Z2 is easy because it's a normal to normal transformation and likewise for uh, Q I get Z3 through the normal inverse. Uh, and then U2 the objective function is the uh, square of the uh, distance. So Z1 square plus Z2 square plus Z3 square. So I have been true to the problem setup so far. Now as an additional information which would help the optimization I would provide the gradients uh, because uh, I know because I have the ability. So as I said uh, the partial of the objective with all the x's x1 x2 x3 I'm going to use chain rule of differentiation uh, and uh, they would be given as you see here. Uh, I obtain first of all the density function of y and in terms of the chain rule uh, del uh, u which would be the, the objective. So objective in terms of x1 that partial derivative is uh, 2z1 times the ratio of the density functions. And likewise uh, for u2 or z2 and uh, z3. Once I'm done, I send all this information back to the main program and then uh, it continues as many times as this is called. The next block uh, is the constraint function and since we are operating in the x space, our constraint is very simple looking. So it's basically uh, y times a minus q, which is what you see. Uh, and uh, we, uh, at this point, uh, we are not given the gradients of the uh, constraint function. So uh, that is the program behind the optimization, optimization for problem C1. And here is the output from uh, the MATLAB code. Uh, the program terminated successfully uh, and um, here are the tolerances uh, mentioned, the default tolerances. Uh, that the uh, program used and uh, these are some further details and uh, here is the output, uh, the optimal output in terms of the excess, the decision variables, uh, the objective function at the optimal point uh, and then uh, when we convert that into uh, our required output these are the numbers which uh, I have already presented before I started uh, showing this uh, this MATLAB code in detail.